quiet village in the heart of rural Essex. I loved my home life situation, but just despised the building that it was in. If I was financially viable to get myself and everyone out, I would have. It was just really like a, a guilty little secret, you know, we, we only spoke about it between ourselves in this house. The Williamsons had lived happily in their home for seven years. Then, when Chris was 17, he experienced something that changed their lives forever. Well, there was one particular night that's quite etched into my memory for the rest of my life and quite terrified the life out of me to be honest. Well when things changed it was just it was like coming home to a different house. The only way I can describe it is if there was a switch on the wall like a light switch so I switched it on it just sucked the atmosphere out of the room and all of a sudden everything just would go cold. I just thought I'd hit a funny stage in puberty, you know, I thought, oh, hang on, it's, it's all gone a bit, a bit crazy. Things you couldn't explain would happen a lot. You'd hear bangings, you'd hear crashings. He came running up the stairs and was white as a sheet and tears in his eyes. He was really, really frightened. It did feel personal. It felt like someone had put a jinx or a spill on me. And it sounds crazy, but it just felt like it was me and me alone. After that night, Chris reported that the activity around him began to increase until he felt he was haunted on a daily basis. It was pointless. It was like fighting an invisible man. You know, you can't hit what you can't see and you can't stop what isn't there. It was just, it was just being trapped, trapped against nothing and not being able to stop something horrible happening. He was scared to sleep in his bedroom. He was scared to go downstairs and get a drink, you know, and scared to get up in the night and go to the toilet. Just basically scared of being here, being in the house. He didn't like it. Soon, it wasn't only Chris who said he felt haunted at the house. His girlfriend believed she sensed something too. I had no idea about any of the stories that had been going on because I think Chris didn't want to scare me. It was always comfortable down here. It's just upstairs that was the problem. <laughs> the first time I went upstairs by myself, I felt it straight away. It's really hard to walk forwards into his room. It was like there was someone, someone there. definitely was not a nice thing in that room. Well, Chloe didn't have to verbally tell me anything. I could look at her and I could sense that she wasn't quite content with the house. I didn't want to tell her. I didn't feel a need to tell her. Because maybe it would stop, but it didn't, unfortunately, she found out. It felt sort of angry in there.
she was actually terrified because we hadn't mentioned it to her and it was just like bang. She was really, really frightened. When Chris first told me about all the stories and what he felt in this house, it all clicked into place. I completely believed him, 100%. Didn't doubt a word that he said. Although Chris and Chloe were now convinced of a presence in the house, Linda was careful to keep it from her five-year-old son. We didn't mention this to anybody, really, and I certainly didn't mention it to Ryan. He's just a little boy. Well, I don't really remember people coming in and, uh, like, talking about ghosts, and at the time I didn't know about ghosts, what they were or what they even looked like. a strange face, some black trousers and some black boots. Well, they are so solid looking, I just thought it was a real man. When Ryan actually mentioned it to me, I began to think, you know, that there was something more to it than I'd actually wanted to believe. And it wasn't until something happened to me and then that was it, you know, there wasn't any doubt in my mind then. It, re it really probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my life. For a brief second, I, I really thought I was going to die. As Chris left his teenage years, the family say the presence began to fade away. To this day, what happened in their home remains a mystery. It's got better. I won't say it's gone away, but as better than what it used to be. It's 75% better now. And my only concern is that Ryan's now coming up towards the age of puberty and I do wonder that if the same thing that haunted Chris is actually going to start up again with Ryan. <laughs>